my name is Corey Vidiello. I'm the chef and operator at Flock Rotisserie and the Harbour Room. You know, this is a, a neighborhood staple. You know, we are in a rotisserie chicken restaurant, but 90% of our menu is, is vegan, gluten-free. You know, that is what people crave, um, you know, especially as diners become more mature, more knowledgeable. You know, I personally think cooking with vegetables is much more interesting than cooking with meats, given the variety, you know, the, the flavors, the seasons. Uh, just, you know, the, the vast possibilities that you have with vegetables, you can take it in so many other directions than you can with meats. And, and the, you know, the creativity is really limitless. Here at Flock, so I'd say we, you know, we have about 75 to 100 produce items coming to our restaurant at any given time. And then we're able to, you know, create these beautiful chef-inspired salads, baked vegetable dishes. There's so many combinations that you can make just using vegetables. You know, you can really give your diner an exciting meal without having to even touch a roasted chicken. Cooking at home is something that I'm very passionate about outside of the restaurant. I mean, you know, it's, it's, I'm, I'm all about these, you know, kind of soul-filling, one-pot wonders, and a lot of time it's a braise, it's a beautiful cacotte, it's layered with, you know, with textures and flavors and slow-cooked, you know, out of the oven. You can feed four people from one pot. It's easy, you know, and, and that's, that, that to me is all about togetherness. For today's dish, I, I took a classic breakfast dish of mine. It's almost like a take on a shakshuka. You know, I used a stove pie plate. It's a great serving dish right out of the oven, presents well, bakes well, uh, but it's just layered tomato in the bottom with a little bit of chilies, a little bit of shallot, and then we have some squash, some zucchini, some spinach, some pancetta, some piquillo peppers. Uh, we just layered that with five cracked eggs. And that's just baked in the oven, 10 minutes. And then we topped it with a little bit of fresh sheep's milk cheese. Uh, and then we shaved some dried olive over top, a little bit more herbs and a little bit more of the cheese. You know, this is something that, you know, there is a recipe for, but I think this is a good example of how you can take a recipe any which direction you want to take it in, based on what you have available, what's inspiring you. You know, you don't have to be confined by step-by-step -step ingredients. You just take it as a general template and put your own spin on it. And this is a great example of something the home cook can, can take and make it uniquely their own. Cooking with Shobe, you know, in a professional kitchen or a home kitchen, the advantages are the same. For me, it's all about efficiency, you know, this kind of exactness in my cooking, and with the Stobe cocottes, which are my favorite, you know, you can take that finished dish, basically assemble everything, move it to the oven. That same vessel is a gorgeous serving vessel for the table. It presents beautifully, especially in the restaurant. We use these for presenting everything from roasted side dishes to baked gratins to whole roasted chickens coming out. You know, it adds that extra, you know, that extra, that level of service that, that we need in a restaurant. 